Karibu tena mtazamaji. Wizara ya Mazingira kwa ushirikiano na Shirika la Jacobs Africa limeandaa mkutano na mashirika ya kijamii hapa Nairobi ili kutathmini hatua zilizopigwa tangu mkutano wa hali ya hewa barani Afrika kufanyika mwaka jana huu nchini. Afisa mkuu wa shirika hilo Sela Bogonko alieleza kuwa mkutano huo ulifungua fursa mpya na iwapo miradi uliopendekezwa itatekelezwa na inaweza kuleta nafasi muhimu za ajira kwa vijana humu nchini. If we don't take action between now and the 2050, we are likely to lose our GDP by about 3 to 5% of our gross domestic product and that by itself simply means that livelihoods are negatively impacted, our ability to create wealth is negatively impacted. The floods and the droughts that happen uh, every 10 years, we've understood that now the cycles are shorter. It's every three years. And that in actual sense simply means that the impacts of climate change are really real and felt at the community level. And most important also to realize that a third of the African young people are uh, unemployed, while the other third who are employed, they are vulnerably employed. And therefore it becomes very critical to ensure that uh, the jobs that we engage in are really very important. And in this particular initiative, we intend to create 3 million jobs for young people across the African continent. And we are glad really that government of Kenya, together with other partners, are taking a step forward to ensuring that young people are meaningfully employed, particularly in agriculture. We do need to be able to keep the momentum by making sure that we're not just uh, talking about these issues, but we're actually implementing. And so it's exciting to see the amount of work that has been done and also to hear what else needs to be done for us to be able to make tangible progress. Kamati ya 